covers the application of hydrogen in hydrogen fuel cell. So we can produce a hydrogen from natural source that is from solar energy and that hydrogen can be utilized as the fuel in the hydrogen fuel cell. This hydrogen fuel cell is little bit different from hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. The electrolyte used in the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell is an alkyl. Whereas here in a hydrogen fuel cell, we normally use a proton exchange membrane. Immobilized electrolyte is used. See, a hydrogen fuel cell converts chemical energy stored by hydrogen fuel into electricity. Here, hydrogen fuel cell are a type of electrochemical cell that generate electricity by reduction and oxidation reaction within the cell. Why it is called as an electrochemical cell? That is, it, there is a transfer of electron from anode to cathode takes place. That means there is a reduction and oxidation reaction takes place within the cell. So that's why hydrogen fuel cells are comes under electrochemical cell. They use a hydrogen as a fuel and oxygen, oxygen as an oxidant and a proton exchange membrane as an electrolyte and emits only water as a waste. Along with the water, we get a large quantity of heat energy. Now, we will consider the construction of a hydrogen fuel cell. In a proton exchange membrane fuel cell, a bipolar plates are positioned at either side of the cell. You can observe the bipolar plates here we can observe some uh, stack like a bipolar plates are introduced just to uh, collect the uh, charges. They help and even they help to distribute the gases and serves as a current collector. The electrolyte is contained in the membrane between the anode and the cathode. PEM what we written it is an electrolyte. They are positioned between the anode and cathode, which are all sandwiched between the bipolar plates. The electrodes are made up of a platinum. The membranes allow the electrodes usually made up of a platinum uh, catalyst and uh, they allows uh, they allows only proton to pass through and is called proton exchange membrane. That is uh, the, uh, the membrane allows only proton to pass through it. So call it as a proton exchange membrane or PEM. In order to work properly, the membrane must be kept moist. So these things we observed in this particular uh, hydrogen oxygen fuel, sorry, uh, in, in case of hydrogen fuel cell. See, we can uh, write the hydrogen fuel cell in this manner also. Here, the anode platinum electrode, cathode platinum electrode along with some current collector or bipolar plates are introduced. Electrolyte is a proton exchange membrane and hydrogen is a fuel and the oxygen is an oxidant. So, in simple way, we can represent hydrogen oxygen, fuel, sorry, hydrogen fuel cell in this way. So, hydrogen HFC in this way. See, uh, here the hydrogen, first hydrogen fuel cell, though, in that the hydrogen fuel is channelized through the field flow plates at the anode and one side of the fuel cell. See, from the anode portion, uh, from to the, uh, near to the anode, we normally fed the hydrogen fuel. See, here we will introduce a hydrogen gas. At cathode, the from the back side, the from the back side of the cell at cathode, the oxygen is introduced. At the anode, what happened? The platinum catalyst, here the collector is there, here the uh, anode. A platinum catalyst causes hydrogen to split into positive hydrogen ion and negatively charged electrons. Here, in the first phase, what we observe when you pass a hydrogen gas, so this hydrogen gas, uh, a hydrogen is split into positive hydrogen, 2H plus plus, 2 electrons. And this formed hydrogen, they migrate towards the cathode. That is the polymer electrolyte membrane allows charged ion pass through the uh, cathode. The negatively charged electrons uh, must migrate uh, through the external circuit. The negative ions are, electrons are migrate to the external circuit to the cathode. 
say here here electrons are migrate to an external circuit hydrogen migrate to the membrane so as a the resulting reduction at cathode take place that is two hydrogen molecules uh, sorry the two hydrogen ions reduced in the presence of oxygen forming water and heat so the working of this particular cell can be observed here the hydrogen gas is supplied at anode on one side of the fuel here we pass the hydrogen gas the anode is coated with the platinum which act as a catalyst and help for the fall help to break down the positive hydrogen ion and negatively charged electron see when you pass a hydrogen gas there is a platinum coated electrode and that absorbs hydrogen gas and that help to break into hydrogen ion and the four moles of electrons the hydrogen ions that are produced from the hydrogen uh, 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 from the hydrogen at the anode travel through the electrolyte in the fuel to the cathode which is coated with the nickel catalyst so the catalyst the nickel or the cathode usually coated with the nickel catalyst it is coated with the nickel catalyst and this one is a platinum okay so here electron cannot pass through the electrolyte they must travel through the external circuit so as a result the complete of the circuit take place say oxygen is at the same time the oxygen is supplied at the cathode here we pass the oxygen hydrogen they come from the uh, anode and electrons they travel through an external circuit because of these three component the reduction reaction takes place hydrogen ion and electrons arriving via external circuit produces water and heat both which are removed from the fuel cell see hydrogen ion takes oxygen in the presence of oxygen reduction take place to produce water so the hydrogen is utilized for the production of heat so overall reaction if you observe it is the reaction between hydrogen and oxygen resulting in the formation of heat at anode hydrogen uh, undergo oxidation reaction for producing four proton plus four electron at cathode the proton in the presence of oxygen undergo reduction forming water overall reaction becomes hydrogen combines with the oxygen forming water so here it usually utilizes half moles of oxygen producing uh, water molecules then uh, or else you can take it as a one mole it is actually a one mole okay a typical hydrogen fuel cell produces 0.5 to 5.8 uh, uh, volt per uh, cell to increase the volt individual cells can be connected in series and that cell if you connect a large number of cells small cells together uh, in a series or a parallel that arrangement is called as a fuel cell stacks from that we can able to get a, a high um, energy or high potential the now i'll take one more or the uses of this uh, hydrogen fuel cell the hydrogen fuel cells bring utilization right now in many aspects uh, for, it is used as a power sources for uh, vehicles such as cars truck buses even boats and even submarine in spacecraft remote weather station military technologies even it is used as a batteries for electronic devices such as laptops smartphone etc and uh, it can give an uninterruptible power source now i'll take the one more type of uh, fuel cell that is methanol oxygen fuel cell in the previous case we use hydrogen as a fuel here we use methanol as a fuel and uh, almost all kind of uh, fuel cell this methanol oxygen fuel cell is considered as an electroactive organic fuel because it contains low uh, uh, ox low carbon content the first uh, hydrogen is a good fuel then we will take it a methanol is a uh, fuel most active electro organic fuel because it has a low carbon content and even it is ox contains oxidizable hydrogen group so methanol we represent it is nothing but ch3 oh it's a it consist of a, a readily oxidizable hydroxyl group and highly soluble electrolyte uh, first of all, construction of this methanol, uh, sorry, methanol oxygen uh, fuel cell. I'll consider. I'll consider the construction of methanol oxygen fuel cell. The methanol oxygen, methanol oxygen fuel cell. It consists of porous nickel sheet. 
which is impregnated with the platinum or palladium catalyst. The cathode is made up of a nickel sheet which is impregnated with the silver catalyst. See here, the uh, this is an anode which consists of a nickel sheet which is impregnated with platinum or palladium catalyst. The cathode made up of a nickel sheet which is impregnated with the silver catalyst. The electrolyte is taken is a 3.7 m of sulfuric acid. Then uh, uh, fuel what we used is a methanol. The methanol is introduced at uh, anode and the oxygen is introduced at cathode. Then a membrane is introduced near to cathode in order to prevent the migration of methanol. A porous membrane, so with the same things we have done here, anode, porous nickel sheet impregnated with platinum palladium catalyst, cathode, uh, porous nickel sheet impregnated with a silver catalyst, electrolyte is 3.7 m sulfuric acid, then fuel is a methanol, oxidant is a oxygen. A porous membrane near the cathode prevent the diffusion of methanol into the cathode. Say, uh, uh, coming to the working, when a methanol is passed at anode, that methanol is absorbed by the electrode surface and that electrode platinum help to break the methanol into or liberates help for the liberation of carbon dioxide liberates carbon dioxide along with the formation of uh, electrons and uh, protons so the methanol uh, here the breakdown to forming uh, methanol breakdown to forming uh, carbon dioxide 6 moles of H plus plus 6 moles of electrons and this formed 6 moles of proton they migrate towards the cathode through a proton exchange membrane and at the same time the electron migrated from anode to cathode through external circuit. So the reduction reaction that take place at uh, cathode with the help of oxygen. When an oxygen is supplied at the cathode, of oxygen diffused towards the cathode and it absorbed by the cathode electrode. And as a result, the reduction of cathode, uh, reduction of uh, uh, oxygen takes place, um, resulting in the formation of uh, uh, water molecules. So six moles of H plus ions gets uh, uh, reduced in the with the help of oxygen forming water molecules and this reaction usually takes place in the presence of water so in the presence of one mole of water this type of reaction is possible so the net reaction uh, if you observe here the methanol is supplied at anode oxygen is supplied at cathode methanol absorbs the by the electrode surface and forming carbon dioxide with the liberation of electron and proton at cathode oxygen get reduced to uh, in the presence of uh, H plus ion form water. At anode, methanol uh, in the presence of water forming 6 H plus ion, 6 electron and carbon dioxide. At cathode, one and a half moles of oxygen undergo reduction in the presence of uh, undergo reduction forming 3 moles of water. So the overall reaction is just interaction between a methanol and oxygen forming carbon dioxide and water. Thus the carbon dioxide produced is absorbed by the electrolyte. If you use a basic electrolyte usually a carbonate ion is uh, produced at that carbonate ion uh, block the electrode surface. The using acid electrolyte they can we can use the electrode for a longer time. The advantage of acid electrolyte is that the carbon dioxide, a product of the reaction, can be removed easily. The AMF developed by the cell is around 1.2 volt at 25 degree Celsius. Thank you.